Hey guys, the Ready Player One trailer, it just dropped. I have read the book. It's not one that's obvious how you would transfer this into a movie, so I'm very curious about this trailer, so I thought I would do a reaction. Let's do this. I live here in Columbus, Ohio. In 2045, it's still ranked the fastest growing city on Earth. Okay. But it sure doesn't seem like it when you live in the stacks. They called our generation the missing millions. Missing not because we went anywhere. There's nowhere left to go. It's nowhere except the oasis. It's the only place that feels like I mean anything. A world where the limits of reality are your own imagination. So like I said, I have read the book and I have no clue how you would take in that trailer without knowing what the 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 book is and the way the story works. And it's it, the whole thing is absolutely pop culture referenced and they go into this thing, the Oasis they mention, and essentially the whole, all of society is obsessed with the 80s. And so the whole thing is absolutely references to stuff uh, from the 80s and 90s. And this quest to try and find stuff in this video game world. And so it pulls all this pop culture stuff into one thing. And I was wondering, how, like, how do you do that with so many references with the music? Uh, and you just watch this and you go, that's... That's the car from Back to the Future. That's the Iron Giant. That's Rush's Tom Sawyer. And you see it all in there. So the, the, the trailer didn't give really plot at all. It just gave you a setup of the world at the beginning part. That's what the world's like there. That's what I envisioned the stacks to look like. And then you go into the Oasis and this crazy set of worlds and stuff um, for really kind of being a first trailer that just gives you a glimpse of the way it's all going to look like. Thus far, based off this, it's looking right. Like they have figured some of this stuff out. Second trailer is when we start to see how the story fits together and some of those other elements. We'll see what happens. As just this first trailer giving you like, here's a visualization of how some of the stuff's going to look as well as the action, how it's going to work. Looks very, very cool. And uh, I've said it many times, Steven Spielberg is my favorite director of all time. I think he's the best director of all time. And this looks like a return to form. He hasn't done like just like a big fun adventure. He's been doing a lot of like Oscar swing for the fences type stuff. Um, and then kind of a family movie with the BFG. This just looks like big fun adventure for all ages, not just kind of kiddie sorts. Of, I, I didn't actually see the BFG, so I probably shouldn't talk down about it the way I am. So I'm very excited about this. I really like this trailer. But what did you guys think about it? Tell me what you thought down below in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Have you read the book? Kind of include that in there. I would love to kind of give that perspective on it. With all that said, if you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I do movie reviews, do ranking videos every single weekend. I put one out on uh, Christopher Nolan's movies today. And uh, But I don't want to just talk about movies. I want to talk about movies with you. So join me in the comment section. Let's get a lively discussion. And thank you for watching. Watching.